questions. Okay. Okay. Because uh, our Ethernet cable, it apparently it loses power or connectivity oh, if it's great. more than like 150 feet. Oh yeah. Feet. And we're going from that building over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna sit between you two. Okay. I'm just gonna pick up your voices when you're doing that right now. Yeah. All right. Okay. That works. Cool. Are you guys also like recording it on board? Yeah. She's doing okay. A, a hard record on it. Okay. What's up, I'm good. Puppy? She's super. Uh, probably right now. All right. Are we live? Live. All right. Texan A&M picking up the quaffle, but they're going to get beat out right there. Putting... Number 12 passing it over at 18. Ohio State playing a nice slow game here. They don't have control. The first one on the board by number 47. Not quite sure what this stoppage of play is for, but we're going to find out. Well, this is the second game of the day here on pitch two. Again, Texas A&M facing off against Ohio State. So do you have any uh, predictions for how you think this game is going to go? I actually don't know much about either of these teams, despite them both being in my pool. Looks like Looks like we have a uh, problem with the referee team. Yeah. Now, that is not surprising as the stakes are very high in the referee game, almost as high as they are for players. Missing a referee slot may actually be qualification to get your team disqualified from the tournament. Yeah, team at uh, South? Oh, that explains the memes. That would be devastating to a team to lose. Play continues to be stopped. Most players not even on the field anymore. Do you have any idea what the stoppage of play is for? Or is it just for referees? Well, 
we will find out soon enough here. That would cause some real problems. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. That is commitment to the sport. Today we are also joined in the booth by uh, our resident streamer. <laughs> How's it? How are you doing? Not too bad. Ohio State offering to throw the clock around a little bit, keep their arms loose as we wait. And we are returning to our brooms. This game will be back on the way here shortly. It looks right, like. <laughs> and play has started. And bludger control. Moving up slow, waiting for their their beater sub. And I'm making a move. The B will be clear, but Hugh. That was a great play on both the beaters and chaser part. I think we could be in for an exciting match. Ooh, that score would be called no good. Leaving one bludger back, both bludgers back, excuse me. Passing it back and forth. Ohio State with the quaffle. Texas A&M still with bludger control. Ohio State taking their time moving it up. Double beat, puts one bludger on the ground. Ooh, oh, the pass will be no good. But, but he'll he recover, it. recover it. He's making a sprint around, sets, resets it. Trying to find something. And the ball picked something. up by Jeremy Bettner of Ohio State. Quaffle back in the hands of Ohio. 
That was a good I'm reset on Ohio up. State's part. Without bludgers. Quaff will play quite deep for in a situation of no bludgers. Bludger control regained by Ohio State. A long shot made over the hoop, too tall. Texas a &M moving the quaffle off the pitch. Ohio State finally has Bludger control. That is not holding Texas A&M back as they make a run in. Bludger on the ground. As is the quaffle, but it's picked up by Ohio State. It seems to be going for a fast break, rushing down the right side of the pitch. Trying to find something, but... Being pressured hard, and the quaffle is loose. And up by Texas A&M. And there is a double whistle on the play for stop it. All right, another stop. Possibly behind the back contact by an A&M. Looks like this to be A&M player number 69. And but there nope. is going to be no card issue. The bobble will be turned back over to Ohio State. Just to the right back side of the course. Ohio State still in control there. Makes another long throw, but it does not go through. Guarded by the a &M beater. a &M picks up the clock. Seven going for a drive. On the hoops. Tries to dish it off to his other player, but he doesn't. Pass no good, and that'll be the end of that opportunity, but... Setting things back up here on offense. Ohio State pressuring. Ooh. He manages to trip over his own feet. <laughs> possession. Bludgers are on the ground as he makes his drive in towards the hoops. No goal. No goal. Wait. Oh, wait. All right. We we'll called it back. The goal was issued. Yeah, that did look like a good goal from here. That sure did. Originally was waved off by head ref Aaron Mallory, but she seems to have called it good as of now. So the score is 30 for Texas A&M, 10 for Ohio State. I believe the discretion came from the twisted hoop, but as long as it goes through it, it's yeah, good. As long as the hoop's not fully dislodged and the ball still passes through, the goal is good. Ohio State passing around up top. Yeah, seeing a hole. On the ground. One is down, and all of them are down now. Driving in, is he able to get the shot off before getting beat? No. Goal, the, the ball did go through the hoop, but he was beat before on the leg. Texas A&M recovering the quaffle, which did roll off pitch. Ohio State with budget control as Texas A&M moves the quaffle. Ohio State trading. Texas driving, great. Beat. That's a that's a nice and face beat. Of Ohio State. And Ohio State ends up with the quaffle. A slide for Ohio to recover that quaffle. And it looks like bludgers are down and Ohio State is driving. Oh, now they're back. Ohio State getting beat twice. Trying to engage a tackle. We'll slow the play down, but it's not going to end it. Goes out of bounds. Texas A&M still with the quaffle, making a drive at the hoops. Shot is too low. A&M. A&M with a uh, peculiar stop on that quaffle there. Yeah, just a little, a little blood reaction on the quaffle. No big deal. Block made on the pass across the hoops in front of the Ohio State hoops. Ohio State recovers. Ohio State making a trade there. Ohio State walking the ball up the pitch. Passing off, making a long pass. Huge behind. deep pass. 15 on 15. And AM recovers it. Looks like she couldn't quite get her hands on the ball. And I'm passing off the waffle as they make a keeper change. Moving the 
ball up the pitch. Great beat by Ohio State. Beats the Buffalo carrier, but the ball's already sent back behind the hoops. Number 27 trying to make something happen. He makes a very desperate pass off. Number 16 gets beat, but is able to pass the ball back to AM keeper number 13. Ohio State pressuring very, very high, but it looks like Texas AM's golf players are all back in the game. Ohio well, State doing a good job of keeping this game within range. Yes, they are definitely locked down on defense right now. They just need to make something happen offensively because they have not scored since their very first drive. Great dodge by number 10 for Ohio State. Keeping control of his own bludger. Number one trying to put down 13, but he just doesn't quite have the size. Bowman's at least putting some heavy pressure on the A&M player. Really keeping the quaffle deep, though. States retreating a little bit, allowing a &M to advance up the pitch. Ooh, looks like we have a possible back contact. And Number one sent back to hoops. Bottles off the pitch, but a and able to recover it. Number 13 passes in the middle to 27 of a and Looking to try to get past the bludger defense of Ohio State. Great block by Ohio State keeper. They've only got one, but Ohio State's going to go for it anyway. Ohio State making a pass off. Oh! Almost gets there. It's a little bit too high, even for number 82, who is quite tall as far as great players go. <laughs> A&M recovers the quaffle. A great run by Ohio State. They're just not able to capitalize. And we are walking up the pitch for A&M again. Ohio State still with Bludger control. Bludgers are on the ground. a and is trying to advance and make a catch. And they are unable to as the ball slips just through her fingers. Buffalo recovered by Ohio State, but it looks like there's a bit of a battle behind the hoops. Keeper for Ohio State recovers and is moving up the pitch. Ohio in control of Bludgers here. Yeah, oh, tries to make a long pass outside the hoops, but it is blocked. Ooh. They're struggling for it, but it's off pitch. All right, A&M is giving control of the quaffle as it was off pitch. And I'm advancing, takes a long shot, but it's no good. And I'm not doing a whole lot right now to try to get budget control back. Peters just kind of hang out on Ohio State side at this point. Ohio State moving the cloth up. Makes a pass behind the hoops. Number 15 is unable to keep her hands on it and make the catch. And I'm recovers. Ball is given to the keeper for a and and they are walking up the pitch again. <laughs> and beater trying to keep the ball players away. Thirteen. Nice little spin move and sends the ball through the tall hoop. Score will be 40 for AM, 10 for Ohio State. Ohio State completely scoreless here since the very start of the game. Ohio State officially out of range. Needs to make something happen here. Keep the morale up. Fortunately, we don't have a clock over here, so I'm not quite sure exactly how many minutes we are in, but I can't imagine that Snitch is too far off. A&M putting another one on the board. Makes another drive. Makes the score 50 for A&M, 10 for OSU. Ohio moving it up the pitch quick. They need to put 
find something. Three trying two. to find something in the long shot, and it is good. 52-20. A and M still leads. That was a good fast break by Ohio State. I think they might have caught A and M a little bit off guard. A and M now walking up the pitch again. And I'm slowing the game down after two quick plays. Ohio State locking a beater down. Back through the tall hoop once again. Score 60 for AM, 20 for Ohio State. Another long throw from the keeper. Ohio State is made it just picking up behind the hoops. 17 reset. Back to the keeper. 82 trying to stay on his feet. Number five gives him a good wrap, sends it back across the pitch number 17 of Ohio State. AM now with blood control. Tries to take the shot, but the keeper manages to smother it. AM back in control of the bludgers and the quaffle. They are sitting pretty right now. They're 40 points out of range, have blood control, and the possession of the quaffle. Bludgers are on the ground, and AM makes a pass behind the hoops. Bludger dodged. And we have a stoppage. I do believe they are calling the quaffle player for AM that was behind the hoops for being beat before he released the quaffle. is returned to Ohio State. Let's see if they can capitalize on this. This is an important turnover for Ohio State. We are remounting and getting started again. Number 17 is subbing out on Ohio State. 82 carrying it up. Jeremy Bettner back in for Ohio State on the Quaffle line. Ooh, four kicking a bludger. Goal for Jeremy as he drives up the pitch once bludgers hit the ground. Score is 30 for Ohio State, 60. Ooh. Bludger thrown way off pitch. Referee comes to recover it. AM charging up the pitch since Bludger is out of play. Bludger back in play. Couldn't, just and couldn't get there soon enough. And yet another ref meeting. There have been plenty of stoppages of play today. Yeah, I do believe that that goal was good. Score is 70 for A&M, 30 for Ohio State. As long as this discussion isn't anything about disallowing the goal, which I didn't see anything that's allowed to play, but I could be wrong. Indeed good. Score is 70 for a &M and 30 for Ohio State. a and being sure to answer every goal that Ohio State has put on the board thus far. Absolutely. <laughs> they didn't let missing out on that first goal of the game opportunity destroy them Ooh. whatsoever. Ohio State making a huge grab for that budget there. Giving their team control. Quaffle play moving far past their bludgers. Goal be no good. Ohio State choosing to keep both their bludgers pretty far back. Did not bring them up with them on that offensive drive. Another stoppage of play here. Probably waiting for the quaffle. I do believe that our quaffle may have rolled into the game. Quaffle back on pitch in the hands of the A&M keeper. Looks like we've got Seeger bands coming on on the uh, player zone. Yep, and it looks like the snitch is stretching out and warming up just a little bit. So we'll have snitch on pitch here momentarily. A&M driving. Goal is good. The score is 80 for A&M, 30 for Ohio State. Ohio State needs to do something quick to get back in this game. Ohio 
Ohio State's had blunder control the last couple of drives, but they haven't really seemed to use it much to their advantage. Haven't been able to make some stops on defense. Yeah, they've been having trouble getting through this A&M defense. It's going to be a beat on... A&M takes blunder control back. Ohio. Ohio still in control, blocking that last beat. Number five. Ooh. Jeremy wraps Huge up. tackle, but he's not quitting. A reset. Dodges the bludger, but Ooh. number 27's knees are taken out right from under him, although he's able to get up, makes a charge on the boot. Oh, so close. That was a good fight on Ohio State's part, but they just needed that 10% more to finish. Weren't able to finish off and capitalize. A&M running the ball up, and it is good. Ooh. Takes the mid-range shot. Ohio State back in control of the Bludgers. Score is now 90 and M30 for Ohio State. Smith is about to come on pitch. A&M dominating this game, both defensively and offensively, and it definitely shows on the scoreboard. Snitch fixing a seeker ban for Ohio State. Both seekers up. And the snitch is officially on pitch. Ohio State with the Buffalo at mid-pitch, but they are choosing to keep both of their bludgers further back. Keep calm and catch them all. And then to help advance. Wanting to maintain that control. Long pass made behind the hoops. They're trying to do something with it. Passes across. Beat though, and Texas A&M is able to recover the clawful and hand it off to their keeper. Walking up the pitch again, A&M feeling very comfortable right now with their lead, as they should. It'll be interesting to see what Ohio State does with their blunder control once the Seekers are on pitch. If only because they've been keeping them back this entire time which might actually be to keep control as they go into stitch on pitch. Seekers are officially released. We're going to get to see here what Ohio State's game plan is. Will they go for point differential or will they go for defense, possibly try and get themselves back into this game? Face beat by Ohio State. Ohio State, Ohio State trying to get in there. Ohio defending the snitch. Good. New A&M seeker. By number 23 of Texas A&M to not get beat and regain a bludger. Get that defensive seeker out of there for Ohio State to give his team. Clearing the way. They're giving him time. Oh, They're so close to a catch. A&M is extending their lead as they just scored once again to make the score 100 to 40. Forty-seven beat out. Ohio State starting to walk the ball up the pitch, putting on a little bit more speed. Ohio State's beat putting up a fight. Sends the ball back into the middle, but it's easily picked up by A&M. He loses his broom. Oh! Clear charges at the hoop, but his beat. A&M keeper driving up the pitch. So close to the score there for Ohio, but back in the hands of A&M, they're going to put that through. Scores 110 40. This game getting farther and farther away for Ohio State. But they're continuing to put up a wall on that snitch. Don't have much choice in this matter. You don't want to lose right off the get go on day one. We'll see how long they keep this up. 72 takes a shot. Ooh. Way too low. Massive beat by 23. Texas A&M recovers the quaffle. Locking up the pitch again. Again, looking quite comfortable, feeling quite comfortable. With their lead right now. Score again for those of you just joining us. 110, Texas A&M, 40 for Ohio State. A&M, no rush to catch the snitch. Ooh, see, Ooh. a little bit tangled up and trip each other up. A&M getting a good, clean look at the snitch. No bludgers to be seen. Ooh. 69 giving it everything. 
number 47 for Ohio State. Seeker is beat again. He's got plenty of time on that snitch, but just can't quite get through his arms. Bobble play, we just had a really good block made by Ohio State keeper. Ohio State catching a budget right there. Texas A&M from extending their lead, lead, lead excuse me, even further. Ohio State slowly moving up the pitch. Ooh. Oh, almost an interception there by a and but almost lost his broom as well. Ohio State has bludger control back. They're keeping one on the snitch. Trying to get some goals going, but the pass is made way too far, and it rolls off pitch. Turn back to a and keeper at the 15. And I'm stepping up on defense on that snitch. 69 still trying to push through though. Bludger control lost by Ohio State. a and able to pick it up. Waiting for his beaters. And now he's going to go for it. Ball carry sent it deep behind the hoops to his player. Takes a shot and it's nice and easy. Smooth as butter just like that. 120 for Texas A&M. 40 for Ohio State. State looking a little bit rusty this game. Not sure if it's just the long winter of the north coming out in their play or if maybe they're just a little bit tired. Or if AM's just dominating that much. 72 looking to make a move. Number 20 not letting him advance. 69 getting beat out by number 8 on Ohio State. 72 over to 27. Ohio State still maintaining ball possession here at mid-pitch. Seeker is still taking plenty of time. Behind the hoops, it's tipped by number 72, unable to make the catch and recovered by the A&M keeper. Ohio State has got pleasure control back. Keeping one bludger near the snitch, but still focusing on what's important, and that being quaffle play for Ohio State. Number 72 pressuring the quaffle quite hard. Trying to keep AM from getting closer and closer to their hoops. Ooh. I say that. AM makes a pass behind the hoops. State pressuring pretty well. Number one trying to get the shot off, but it is blocked by the OSU keeper. Just got his fingertips on it. Ooh. It's a little bit of a sprint to try to recover that quaffle, and it is recovered. Given back to the number, given back to number 27, Ohio State keeper. Very little action on the snitch as of right now. Ooh. That'll be another score for Ohio State, making it. 120 to 50. Got a uh, beater tackled out of the hard boundary. A late beater tackle outside the hard boundary when there was no bludger to be in her hands. I do All kinds of things wrong with that tackle. That'll be a yellow card issued to beater number two on Texas A&M. Well, you're going back to number eight on Ohio State. That'll hopefully give Ohio State a couple of minutes they need to try to get back in this game. As soon as they score, that player gets to come back on pitch, but hopefully they can capitalize on these next two minutes without a player on the pitch. This could potentially be a huge opportunity for Ohio State. Would put them back in range, but at least get their morale up a little bit again and keep that point differential. A little bit lower should AM catch. Sixty-nine. Oh, so close. Inches away with his hand. AM holding the quaffle at just past mid pitch, trying to advance on the Ohio State hoops. Bludger is right in front of it, and Ohio State's defense putting some pressure on. Broke his ankles a little bit there, but uh, he seems to hop right back up. And I'm trying to get around Ohio State's defense, but and I'm not having to force anything right now though with their their hefty lead. 
69 taking plenty of time with a snitch, but he's off broom. Ohio State going for a drive here, dodging the bludger, taking a long pass. Yes! Ohio State is able to score. 120 to 60. AM still leads. AM with a new seeker. New energy. Ohio State still <laughs> defensive seeking. AM's moving the clock off the pitch. Oh, almost through the legs, but just not quite. Nobody can even stop him. 130, 260. Looks, looks like 11 took that fall a little hard. Still going for it though. He's still in this game. Fall a little hard, or if the hook took the fall a little harder. Stitch taking a little bit of a breather here. Ohio State not even bothering to make a catch. Wanting to get back into this game no matter what it takes. Slide behind his knees. Slide on his knees behind the beat. Long beat tries to be made for the three. Ohio State driving in. Driving in, puts it through the hoop. Scores 130 to 70. AM still leads. Ohio State trying to get back in this game. AM responds way too quick for Ohio State to even recover on defense. Scores 140 to 70. AM's catch starting to look slightly more urgent. But still, clearly not the priority. I'm not sure at this point if a and is trying to go for the cap or just really can't catch a snitch. Oh. Tackle will go off broom for number 25. And the bludger sent way back behind the A&M hoops. Ohio State Hi. making the run. Can he get the shot off and through the hoop? There's no bludgers here anywhere. The shot will be no good, but it'll work as a reset. Ohio State manages to recover the quaffle back on their own side of the pitch. Looking for another opportunity. Pass is made behind the hoop, and they capitalize. The score is 140 to 80. AM still leads. Ohio State. By number 18 of Ohio State. Ohio State setting up on D. Texas A&M trying to have a quick response, and they do. Score is 150. Excuse me. It was quite a high-scoring game at this point. Uh, Texas State lining up in front of us here. Score is 150 to 80. Watching what's turned into an exciting match. Easily made by the AM keeper. Passes it back up top. Goal is good. Scores 160 to 80. It seems like every time Ohio State gets their goal back, AM is able to capitalize and just keep them at really half the points. Some nice beating going on here in the middle of the pitch. AM recovers the quaffle. There's no one to even stop him. He could have walked that in if he wanted to, but he chooses to run it in. Scores 170. I believe 2 for AM. Ohio State staying in this as long as they possibly can. Still choosing the defensive seat. Trying to move the pop up there. AM's meter say not. Ooh. And AM has a pretty clear, had a pretty clear run. Did not see the bludger. And I do believe we might. Did we miss a catch? Him. I do believe that Ohio State made a consolidation snitch catch to end the game and keep their point differential from being too ridiculous going into the rest of day one. Just like that, Ohio State will end the game on their terms. That is. Final score is 170 for AM. 112. For Ohio State as they made a consolidation catch. All right. Thank you for joining us on pitch two. This has been Christina Packard. And I'm Philip. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoy the rest of U.S. Quidditch Cup. All right. Nice. Cool. Now that I have a dry mouth. <laughs> All right. Where am I supposed to go next?
I don't think I have to worry about here yet? Okay. I need to go to each four. Which is... Good luck the rest of the day. You too. Maybe uh, we'll see you on the pitch tomorrow. Yeah, definitely.